All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to go left and right tonight at Watkins Glen. Up front will be Patrick Gitter and Patrick Peeper, Justin Swafford and Jacob Morgan on the second row. Jeremy Gardner and Clay Kirchenbauer on the third row. Richie Joplin and Dean Webb have the fourth. Tyler Ott and P.J. Cox rounding out the top ten. Kevin Bernheimer in 11th with Blake Viken in 12th. 13th is Pudge. 14th is Newbie. Lance Sponberg starting at 15th. Colby Whipple in 16th. Jared Woodard 17th. Brody Green in 18th. Ryan McDaniel starts 19th. And Sean Lesperance in 20th. Russell Worth and Michael Doan rounding out the field here tonight. And hey, just so you can keep track of where your favorite driver is, there is the track map. Currently shows where your driver's, or what position is where. All the drivers getting warmed up for that single pace lap. They'll go 10 laps, stage break at lap 10, then again at lap 20. Then they'll make the 20 lap run to the finish. No cautions other than the stage breaks tonight. No damage either. They had open setups for tonight just so the drivers could get you get a setup and an adjustment to make sure they have they can drive it the way they need to. And again, just a ton of teamwork. For guys competing for a title, there was a lot of teamwork and making sure everybody had the car feeling the way they wanted to before the drop of the green. The Porsche Pace car leads all 22 cars are into actually 21. Looks like Michael Doan did not take to the grid here. Brody Green saying, don't watch him. Make sure you drop in the comments. Let us know who you're cheering for here tonight. Don't forget to hit like and share and follow and all the fun little buttons there are to push out there. Pace car will drop off as they come out of that final turn. That pit road could make things interesting as well, but with no damage, Tonight might be a little bit easier. Pace car is in. Gitter controls the start. Green flag is in the air. They are down and away for round three of the playoffs. Five drivers will be eliminated at the end of the night. And who's it going to be? Everybody. The Looks like everybody's going to make it through turn one okay. Up the hill through the S's, they go down that long straightaway towards the bus stop. Single file through most of the top 10. And down into the bus stop, the, the oh! Getters having some problems through the bus stop, allowed Patrick Peeper to get by. 
Peeper did say he was going out here for a win. That's the, the best chance of staying in the playoffs here tonight. PJ Cox has had gone off track. Looks like PJ just gets down into the bus stop a little too deep. Manages to save it, and Brody Green and Sean Lesperance have had an incident. Coming through the carousel, and oh, the 91 just gets loose. Gets on the brakes and saves it. Let's see what happened to Sean. Again, coming out of the carousel. Oh, just right behind it goes a little too wide. He does manage to stick the landing. And of course, with the damage off tonight, he's going to be okay. Blake Vekin also having an incident here early. Oh, just gets loose. Coming up out of the S's. And it looks like Pudge just clips him. But the car's as good as new. Patrick Peeper in the lead as a one second lead on Patrick Gitter. Swafford back in third, some random dude in fourth. We apologize for you having to look at the 48 card tonight. Oh! Clay Kirchenbauer in fifth and Richie Joplin almost has a problem coming out of turn one in sixth. Dean Webb currently runs in seventh, Bernheimer in eighth, Tyler Ott in ninth and Pudjanowski in 10th of three spots. Bernheimer and Pudge, two of the biggest movers so far, in addition to Ryan McDaniels, who's already up four spots into 15th. Lance Sponberg up three spots into 12th. Get her going really wide out of the carousel down into the final two turns. Peeper still has the lead, but Gitter able to carry more momentum. Ryan McDaniel has crashed. Coming up out of the S's. Just gets a little too far to the inside. Almost got stuck on the wall. Holds his car and... I would expect to see Ryan come back before this thing is over. He was very fast in practice and obviously in the early going was doing a great job. Clay Kirchner currently runs in fifth, came in tonight fourth in points. Heard a lot of guys talking about a lot of extra practice this week coming into this race. A cutoff race is a big deal and putting it on a road course, you got to give it to Pudge and the rest of the Nowski Nation admins for the schedule they have put together here for the playoffs. It has been fun to watch. Peeper still in the lead by one and a half seconds over Gitter. Swafford back in fourth. Clay Kirchenbauer in fifth. Brandon Newby is at an issue. Newby just gets a little bit wide out of turn one. Gets back on the throttle loose up the hill. Jared Woodard also has had an incident. And it looks like Sean Lesperance may have as well. Through the bus stop, Woodard. Oh, Woodard just overshoots it. Sean was right behind him. What happened here? Sean flying down toward the bus stop at Looks like he pulled over and towed. Not sure what happened there.
Richie Joplin holding on to six. Dean Webb holding on to seven. Also just realized Jeff Sheldon also not in the race. So the two drivers tied for 15th. Paulo Anacito and Jeff Sheldon both out with Darren Silva out. Lance Sponberg, Patrick Pieper have a big opportunity here. But a lot of fast cars they're going to have to get by to stay in the playoffs. Kirchenbauer had an incident a minute ago. Looks like a lot of guys... Kirchenbauer just way wide through the second to last turn. That car was bouncing. Great job by Clay holding on to it. And then a little bit loose out of the final turn. Dean Webb in seventh, Bernheimer in eighth. Everybody's starting to spread out a little bit. Tyler Ott in ninth, Jacob Morgan back to 10th place. Pudge in 11th. P.J. Cox in 12th, Lance Spawnberg currently in 13th, Whipple in 14th, Bernheimer has crashed. Up out of the carousel, just gets loose. We're seeing a lot of that as guys are pushing for everything they can get. Jacob Morgan has had an incident. A couple of spots on this track are always dangerous when you're out there coming out of that carousel and coming right there as well. Jacob Morgan gets loose and goes around. Apparently Lesperance's internet connection was getting really, really bad. He backed out to protect the rest of the drivers. That is great sportsmanship out of Sean tonight. Peeper continuing to grow his lead over Gitter. Swafford back in fourth and Clay in fifth. Pudge has made his way back up in the ninth. PJ Cox though looking for that position. They're both running down Dean Webb here. Pudge is very rapidly gaining on Dean Webb. Jarrett Woodard has had an incident. Jarrett having a rough night here tonight as well. Uh, looks like he just overcooks it down toward the bus stop. Russell Worth up four spots into 17th. Ryan McDaniel, we said it earlier when he had the incident, he's B coming back, and here he Holy cow! Who is that right? Oh! Peeper gets together with McDaniel through the final turn. McDaniel pulling over to let get her by. See if we can find a replay of that incident. There's McDaniel coming down toward the bus stop. And there is the leader not far behind. McDaniel gets out of the carousel okay, but Patrick Pieper gaining on him. Very quickly, McDaniel gets, uses every bit of the track possible here. Down into the second to last turn, that left-hander, Peeper just carries a lot of momentum, tries to set up to the inside. He gets the nose in, 
Just looked like McDaniel didn't know he was there, tried to hold down his line. Just an unfortunate racing incident. Dean Webb has had an incident now as well. Caution is out. That is our first stage break. Dean Webb gets loose through the second to last turn. We have seen a couple of spots on this track claim a lot of victims already. Patrick Pieper is now looking for the pace car to put the field back together again. I'd expect every driver back on pit road for four tires and fuel. Patrick Pieper winning stage one helps him with his point situation dramatically. Peeper came into the night 18th. Automatically picking up three spots as the race started with Jeff Sheldon, Paulo Anacito, and Darren Silva, all three not being here tonight. Putting himself back in contention as he catches up to the pace car. Some big movers so far tonight. Pudjanowski up five spots into eight. Colby Whipple up four spots into 12th. Russell Worth up four spots into 17th. And Patrick Pieper out there doing what he said he had to do. Hey, yeah, Pat, hey Patrick, it's Doug. You got me? Hey, how's it going, Doug? Hey, good. First off, man, a great run. You're doing exactly what you had to do tonight. Yeah, you know, I was a little caught off guard. I mean, I knew Gitter was going to be fast, but, I mean, I wasn't expecting him to be 12 too fast, just, like, right out of the gate and qualifying. So I was a little bit surprised on that, but had a good start. And, I mean, I'm not sure why he didn't pick the outside lane or if Iris just makes him pick the inside lane. But I had the more ideal line coming into turn one. Um, so I was able to overtake there, and I just uh, kind of took it easy on the first lap, and then the rest of the way I just kind of did my thing. Man, it's working out so far. I know you're about to go to pit road. Any thoughts on that incident you had a few moments ago with uh, McDaniel? You know, I I was trying to call out to him. I don't know if he's in the Discord. I was telling him, hey, uh, leader's coming. And, uh, you know, we got damage off. So I was like, you know what? If I door him, I door him. So <laughs> I'm, all, trying to be a, I'm not trying to be a dick. I'm just, you know, I'm just <laughs> trying to keep my position. It all worked out in the end, man. Good luck so far. The night is going great for you. Thanks, Doug. All the drivers headed toward pit road now. Hey, my pleasure, Jason. Always enjoy broadcasting you guys. All the drivers now on pit road that were on the lead lap. Ryan McDaniel's going to get waved around back onto the lead lap now. Looks like Jared Woodard is going to come around the pace car as well. Waiting as all the drivers sit on pit road trying to get these stops out of the way quickly. Who's going to be the first off pit road here? It is Justin Swafford. Gitter comes out second and... All right, I'm going to have to talk to him because he's doing really good tonight. and It breaks my heart, but... Hey, Gardner, it's Doug. You got me? What's up, buddy? Man, I tried to ignore you the first part of this race, but you're doing too dang good, and I just can't anymore. Uh, yeah, for now. I'm uh, not good at road courses and cup cars, so... Uh... <laughs> I'd say you're doing pretty well so far. You've held on to third and pulled away from uh, the cars behind you for the most part. You've had a smooth run. 
Yeah, I'm backing corners up like way, 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 way too soon. Just um, I'm just trying to be conservative right now. I'm not overdriving it. It's stupid loose if you try to overdrive it. Uh, I have noticed a lot of guys spinning, especially out of the carousel, uh, and really surprised to see some spinning uh, at the top of the S's, but you've managed to hold on to it pretty good. Have you uh, had any moments? Uh, I've had a couple in the S's, but I just put it in the high gear and just cruise through there. That's where everybody's messing up, trying to run low gear through there, running more than 75% throttle. Well, it's working out great for you so far. Good luck, buddy. Appreciate it. Gardner came into the night with the points lead. Curly sits in third place. Swafford came into the night second in points. Curly in the lead. Patrick Peeper comes off pit road back and forth. On the restart, it'll be Swafford and Gitter on the front row. Gardner and Peeper on the second. PJ Cox, Clay Kirchenbauer on the third. Richie Joplin, Tyler Ott on the fourth. Pudge. And Kevin Bernheimer rounding out the top 10. Colby Whipple now up into 11th with Jacob Morgan in 12th. Blake Veek and Dean Webb, Russell Worth ran out the top 15. Lance Spawnberg, Brandon Newby, Ryan McDaniel. Six, uh, the last three cars, uh, I'm sorry. Jarrett Woodard in 19th will be the last car on the lead lap. Brody Green also hitting pit road. Sean Lesperance out of the race, and Michael Doan did not take the grid. Hey, good evening, David, and Clay is doing really well tonight, sitting back there in sixth. Lights are out. They will go green this time mine. <laughs> Jason, that is a hilarious comment. Jason Coleman's pick for tonight is Patrick Gitter, and he said the rest of the field will be sitting on the crapper. <laughs> Looks like we're going single file on the restarts here tonight. They'll go to lap number 20, and that'll be the final stage break. Then they will go to lap 40. A reminder for those just showing up, no damage is on tonight. And they have open setup, so the drivers were able to tune it to their liking. And you know, we don't have a crank it up cam for Watkins Glen. However, we do have a speed cam. Let's see how fast these boys are going on the restart. Here they come. Green flag back in the air. Down into turn one. A low pudge just goes sliding. Pudge is around going into turn one. Up through the S as the rest of the field goes. Looks like Pudge and Burnheim are caught up in that incident. We'll take a look at it here in just a moment. Swafford still in the lead. Oh, we've got a car on its side. It's Peeper. Blake Vegan has had an incident. Patrick Peeper had a toe to pit road. Let's go take a look at what the heck all just happened. All right, here's the incident on the restart with Pudjanowski. He gets a run down inside Tyler Ott. Morgan makes it three wide, and it looks like Bernheimer just gives uh, Pudge a little tap there. Pudge backs it in the wall, gets it turned around, and keeps going. Now the incident with Patrick Peeper. 
We caught that one a little bit. Trying to find exactly where Patrick's incident started. There he is. Looks like he was loose coming out of the S's, gets into the wall, and the car just sticks into the barrier. Swafford got caught in it. Swafford and Gitter have an incident. Oh, looks like Gitter had to get hard on the brakes. And Newby has since crashed too. This first couple, the first couple laps of the race were very, very clean. But man, this is uh, stage two. These guys are pushing it. Newby on the outside. Oh, he gets too much throttle oh, as he goes across the bump. Ends up going around. Thankfully, no damage is on. But look who has snuck by into the lead. For the first time tonight, our points leader is up front. Richie Joplin now into second. P.J. Cox up to third. Clay Karchenbauer now in fourth. And Dean Webb into fifth. Tyler Ott, Justin Swafford, Patrick Gitter, Pudge, Lance Spawnberg round out your top ten. Patrick Pieper is back out on track currently in 18th. And you can tell he's driving angry. Gardner got extremely lucky. Managed to slip through the chaos in turn one. To oh, Gardner's a little loose out of the carousel. Richie back in second. Losing a little bit of ground. Clay Kirchenbauer now up into third. P.J. in fourth, Dean Webb back in fifth. Patrick Pieper does get bonus points for winning stage number one. It's really going to help after that incident. He just has to hold on now until the stage break. Ryan McDaniel now up into 17th, just ran his fastest lap of the race and he is gaining ground on newbie and russell worth richie holds on to second third place is clay looking throughout to see where some battles are as we've got one foreman getter looks to the inside on swafford Swafford backs out. Let's get her by easily. Pudge has managed to get himself back up into ninth place. Ryan McDaniel had an incident a moment ago. Was off track for quite a while. And loose out of the turning. Oh, and hard stick into the wall. Manages to bounce back out. And gets rolling again. But just every time McDaniel starts building momentum tonight, he goes, has something go wrong. Hutch closing up on the back bumper of Tyler Ott. The top three now have a three and a half second gap on fourth place, P.J. Cox. The field really starting to spread out here. Pudge, though, he's got the draft on Tyler Ott as they go off into the bus stop. Where will Pudge make his move? These cars definitely showing what a handful they are here tonight. And showing the skill of these drivers to be able to hold on to them. Lance Spawnberg currently runs in 10th. Jacob Morgan in 11th. Bernheimer in 12th. Whipple in throw. Oh! Jacob has another issue. 
Dean Webb has gone to pit road. I think he may have lost connection. Peeper now up into 17th place, trying to run down Ryan McDaniel ahead. Peeper definitely has to beat Lance Spawnberg tonight and needs to beat Jared Woodard as well. Right now he is one spot ahead of Woodard. But Spawnberg way up ahead in ninth place. Doing exactly what he needs to do to stay in the playoffs. P.J. Cox, another driver who came in in the danger zone, 13th in points. Currently, P.J. runs in fifth. He's doing exactly what he needs to do tonight. And we're about to hit lap 20 for our second stage break. Gardner coming out of the bus stop with a 3.75 second lead. You know he does not want to see this stage break. Richie Joplin holds second, Clay in third. Getter now back into fourth, P.J. Cox in fifth. Gardner comes out of the final turn. We should see a, or a yellow flag here. Any moment now. Clay Kirchenbauer has been steadily chopping away, closing in on Richie Joplin, hanging out within half a second. Once they get to the top of the S's, he will have the advantage being in the draft. P.J. Cox back in fifth has Swafford in sixth place, gaining on him. Tyler Ott has been able to hold Pudge off so far, but as they battle it out, Bernheimer is gaining on him, and what a mess back behind is Spawnberg, Morgan, and Whipple all right though, Morgan tried to shoot to the inside. Bonberg still holding the spot right back behind Beacon and Whipple going at it. Gardner's lead now five and a half seconds as he continues to pull away. Patrick Pieper is steadily gaining on Ryan McDaniel and Russell Worth. Brody Green is definitely having a rough night here tonight. He just had another incident. Just gets a little loose trying to set up for the left-hander. And Ryan McDaniel has had an incident. Just gets loose coming through the second to last turn. Ends up in that inside wall.
Meanwhile, Gardner continues to lead and check out. Patrick Gitter has caught up and gotten past Clay Kirchenberg. Now Gitter setting his sights on Richie Joplin here. Lap traffic just ahead may come into play. Gitter all over Richie's back bumper almost gets him. Richie doing a great job def driving defensively here. Caution is out. Looks like this will be the stage break. And it looks like Pudge had an incident as the caution came out. Coming through that final turn. Uh, looks like he was trying to throw the caution just went a little bit wide so we'll see every driver on pit road one final time Gardner wins stage number two Ryan McDaniel the first car one lap down should be getting the wave around here Jared Woodard Back in 18th place. Everybody settling down, waiting to get caught up to the pace car. Now they've got them as they come up through the S's. Gardner, Joplin, and Gitter, the top three. Kirchenbauer in fourth. P.J. Cox doing a great job tonight holding on in fifth. Swafford in sixth. Pudge in seventh. Tyler Ott now in eighth. Bernheimer in ninth. Jacob Morgan has had one of the drivers having a rough night tonight. Currently sitting in tenth as we come around and should be seeing everybody hit pit road here in just a moment. They'll have just under 15 to go when the, ch when the green flag drops again. Good evening, Angie, and let's see if we can talk to one of our drivers. Actually, let's see if we can talk to the man himself. Hey, Pudge, it's Doug. You got me? What's up, Doug? Hey, hey, I know you're going to pit road. We'll keep it brief, but man, you've had kind of a up and down night, but you're back up into seventh and one of the biggest movers so far. Yeah, man, I, I really regret even putting this on the schedule. I should have listened to the guys all year, but uh, out here having a good time, though. Uh, really proud of all the guys, the way we ran. I've only seen maybe one, maybe two big wrecks, but uh, just excited to see how this race is going to finish out. Hopefully we can get this top ten. Well, I have to tell you, Pudge, I just got word homemade salsa just got finished, so you need to tell all the boys to drive a little faster. <laughs> Tip for that, buddy. I'll do it. Good luck, man. It has been great to see you moving up through the field. 
Yes, sir, buddy. Thank you. All right, Pudgenowski coming off pit road. Patrick Peeper is still out. Patrick Peeper did not pit. I have to wonder what his plan is here. He was still on the lead lap. Time will tell, is this a fuel strategy, a tire strategy, or just getting back up to the tail end? I'm not sure, but this is a bit of a surprise. He is coming to pit road this time. Let's see while they're pacing. Let's see if we can get a word with the fourth place driver, Clay Kirchenbauer. Hey, Clay, it's Doug. You got me? Hey, Doug. How's it going? <laughs> Good, you sound a little worn out, buddy. Tell you what, the uh, focus level here is just at an all-time high. Just trying to keep it uh, on the pavement. We've seen a lot of guys struggling with that, but I don't think I have seen you go off track all night tonight. I know there's been a few close calls, but man, you have really been doing a great job hanging on to that thing. Well, let me tell you something. I started practicing for this race uh, maybe like June. Uh, just running laps here and there and figured somebody would be better than me, you know, on the road course guys, but I had to, I'm a dirt guy, Doug, and I wanted to represent the dirt community well, and hopefully I'm doing a good job of that. And, uh, if I can get through turn one here, I think I'll be able to bring home a good finish. Well, I, I do have to say you're representing the dirt community rather well, because that car's been sideways a few times. You've dirt tracked it out of a few turns and just held that back in down. Hey, man, you ain't spinning tires, you ain't trying, right? <laughs> ain't that the truth. Good luck, Clay. Appreciate it. Well, obviously, the drive, some of the drivers are getting very worn out. Oh, believe me, Jason, I will. Obviously, the focus level, this is the most powerful car on iRacing. And very little downforce, so these guys have got their hands full. It, an oval, much less trying to turn that car right and left. Thankfully, they got the damage off. Thankfully, they've made some adjustments in this race, and it's helped keep everybody in contention. Patrick Peeper is still scored as the leader. We'll wait and see how this falls out. As they come out of the final turn, Jason, just a quick update. The the salsa, the production crew brought me some salsa to try, <laughs> and it was delicious. Everybody getting stacked up and ready to go here. Single file on the restarts tonight. And Peeper is out at the back. I think he's going to slot in about uh, 16th place. There have been some odd scoring glitches over the last week, so we'll see how this play plays out. As they come back to green, Gardner leads them down to turn one. Green flag back in the air. It looked like Swafford was around. He managed to hold on to it, but there's a crash. Oh, there is a lot of beating and banging on this restart. All right, let's try and take a look at what happened to Richie Joplin and Lance Sponberg here early. There you see Swafford hard on the brakes just ahead. We'll take a look at that one in a minute. Richie had a massive run through turn one, 
just ran out of track. Let's see what happened with Swafford on the restart. Down into turn one. Oh, Jacob almost gets the nose in. Talk about a save. What a save by Justin Swafford. And it looks like Patrick Gitter has had a crash. Gitter drives it through turn through the bus stop extremely hard. Gets into the lead, but gets loose out of the bus stop right in front of everybody. Newbie has had an incident. This restart has been the craziest of the night. Newbie loose through the carousel right in front of Whipple. Whipple actually almost helps him get corrected. Bernheimer in an incident. Again, coming out of the carousel, just gets loose. And what a turn of events we've got going on here. Another interesting note is Patrick Pieper is still scored as the leader. He is back in traffic. I think officially he is right be right ahead of Jacob Morgan. I think Patrick Pieper would officially be in about fifth place. Meanwhile, Gardner way out front has a 3.23 second lead. Swafford makes a move into second place. Clay Kirchenbauer still holding on to third, and Peeper is flying up through the field. Blake Vekin is at a crash. Coming down in the second to last turn, just a lose hand. Oh! Almost saves it about three different times. Peeper now setting his sights on Justin Swafford. Ryan McDaniel has been involved in the crash. Down toward the bus stop. Newbie looking inside. Couldn't get there. Oh, he's loose coming out of the bus stop. Newbie barely avoids him. Vekin has been involved in another incident. It is crazy in this final stage the way these guys are pushing these cars to their absolute limits. Peeper all over the back bumper of Justin Swafford as he battles for second place. Gitter not far behind. Jared Woodard has crashed and Russell Worth. Coming out of the S's. Guys definitely pushing their cars a lot harder. Oh, oh! Gets loose up out of the S's, gets stuck. And Jarrett did not get himself loose. He had to tow to pit road. Russell Worth heads down towards the bus stop. Newbie has a bit of a run here. Newbie locks him up. I don't think it was enough. I think he got just on the quarter panel of Russell Worth. So Jeremy Gardner currently leads. Swafford in second. Gitter, I'm sorry, Peeper should be in third with Gitter in fourth.
Clay now back in fifth. Jacob in sixth. Colby Whipple currently runs in seventh. Pudge in eighth. Tyler Ott. Oh, Tyler misses caution. Caution's going to be out with less than 10 laps to go. And we could see these guys get the uh, scoring squared away here. Colby Whipple, another driver who is on a mission here tonight. He is all the way up into seventh place. Colby came in tonight eighth in point. Darren Silva being out gives him seventh. And just a couple points behind Blake Veek, and I do believe he'll take sixth in the points here tonight. Looks like Peeper is pulled over. I think they're going to have to let the entire field go around and let him get back onto the same lap. While they're figuring it out, let's see if we can get a word with him. Hey, Patrick, it's Doug. You got me? How you doing, Doug? Hey, good, man. I have to say, a little bit of a weird scoring issue there. Yeah, there's a weird scoring issue going on. So what happened is, um, I mean, I fucking, excuse me, I kind of blew that pit stop uh, on the first stage and missed my pit, and I ended up fourth. And so lap one, we were just battling. And then going up the S's, I just gave it a little bit too much gas. And so one thing we noticed with these legacy cars is they glitch into the fence, and I was over, and we kind of made it. We made a rule that uh, if you get a toe, then you can get a lap back. So they weighed me. I want to lap down, and they weighed me around, and suddenly I'm in first. So I, I don't understand that, but technically I'm actually back up to third, which is pretty good, I think. I would say so, because technically you started at the back on that last restart and marched your way through that field really quickly. It was a parking lot on the front stretch. I don't know what was going on with that. <laughs> there was a little anarchy into turn one. Yeah, just just a little bit. <laughs> this is gonna this is gonna be a wild finish though, man. I'm everybody's got good tires now, so they're not gonna be spinning it through the S's. I mean, it's just gonna be uh, who's the fastest, and I mean Jeremy's really quick, so hopefully I can catch up to him, and I know I'm gonna have Gitter on my tail. So, well, uh, I will say with uh, the drivers out of the race tonight uh, that didn't make it, it looks like you're in the top 15 right now, and with the bonus points from stage one, it looks like you got yourself uh, through this one and into the next round at least. <laughs> Well, that's good. I still, my, my main goal is I still want to win this thing. I mean, hopefully everything goes well and, you know, there are no more incidents. But, yeah, I'm going to give it all I got, but it's going to be tough. These guys are, these guys are good. All right, buddy. Good luck. All right. Thank you, Doug. Patrick Peeper giving it all he has got here tonight. Colby Whipple has made his way up into seventh place. He is the biggest mover of the race so far. Hey, Colby, it's Doug. You got me? Yeah, I got you, Doug. What's up? Hey, man, uh, uh, according to official scoring, you are the biggest mover of the night so far. Do you have another six spots on in you? No, dude, I don't even have the spots I'm in right now. Uh, no, I put in a lot of practices last few months, honestly, and uh, put in 110 laps last night with some guys. Uh, so I'm feeling good. I'm feeling stable. I haven't really been involved in any incidents that I caused. Uh, but I don't have the speed these guys do, so I'm just hoping to avoid some reps. Well, man, you've done a great job of it so far. And like I said, you have picked up a ton of spots. Actually, as of right now, up 10 spots. So obviously you've got a fast hot rod out there tonight. It's a stable hot rod. <laughs> I don't know how fast it is, but it's stable. It's feeling good, and I'm looking forward to these last few laps here. Well, good luck, buddy. It's been a great run. All right, thanks, Doug.
Colby Whipple, uh, I think he's underestimating himself here. It looks like they've got Peeper back where he needs to be. This is going to be interesting as he battles with Justin Swafford and Jeremy Gardner, not to mention Patrick Gitter and Clay Kirchenbauer right behind him. Jacob Morgan up there. Colby's up there. Pudge is up there. Bernheimer keeps coming back. This thing could get very interesting very, very quickly. And as we saw in that last restart, uh, anything can happen in turn one. Lights are out. They will go green next time by, and they'll have right at about five laps left to go. P.J. Cox looks like he is getting waved around. Uh-oh. Oh, they figured it out quickly. He got waved around, and then it was showing him up to first like he was running away. Same kind of issue they had out of uh, Peeper a few moments ago. As I mentioned, there's been a few scoring glitches over the last uh, couple of weeks iRacing does an amazing job of getting these bugs fixed quickly, though. I do know there was uh, a bit of chaos with the Jones BS Racing All-Star event Monday night was scoring. It made things very interesting. <laughs> they had ended up having to hand-score the race. Coming down through the final two turns, the pace car will pull off in the final turn. The final restart here at Watkins Glen. Who will it be? In about five laps, we will know. Pace car is in. Gardner controls the restart. Green flag is back in the air. It's five to go at the line. Gardner gets a good run off into turn one. Get her backs out, giving a little bit of room. Everybody looks like everybody's playing it a little bit safer on this restart. Ryan McDaniel now up into 12th spot. He's battling side by side with Vekin. Vekin's got to run up the hill. Oh, McDaniel's out into the wall. He manages to hold on to it. Russell Worth and Lance Spawnberg side by side. As they go down toward the bus stop, everybody trying to get everything they can here. Gardner, Swafford, and Peeper, the top three. Get her in fourth. Get her using every bit of available track. Clay lurking back behind him. Fifth has Jacob Morgan on his bumper. Whipple and Pudge battling it out for seventh. And here comes Bernheimer into the mix. Oh, Colby's around. Colby went around. I think he meant No, he managed to keep it off pit road. But he is losing a lot of ground here. Gardner still out front, but Peeper has gotten by Swafford for second. Get her now to third. Clay Kirchenbauer might be in the best place on track right now. Although here comes Jacob Morgan. Clay had a little bit of a buffer, but not for long. Swafford and fourth all over Gitter's back bumper. Peeper is almost caught up to Gardner.
Your whole peeper, a little bobble out of the... Oh, get her! An even bigger bobble out of that final turn. The way these guys are drifting out of these turns, the advantage definitely goes to a dirt guy like Clay Kirchenbauer. Richie Joplin now back up into seventh, Pudge in eighth. Patrick Gitter has crashed. Headed down towards turn one, Swafford on the bumper. Gitter too much of the rumble strip. He goes around hard into that outside wall. Gitter falls back into eighth, came into the night in ninth after missing the first race of the playoffs, trying to fight to stay in. This race is definitely going to send the playoffs for a loop here tonight. Gardner out front is now under attack from Patrick Peeper. Two laps to go. Justin Swafford in third, starting to run him back down. Swafford drove it deep into turn one that time. Clay Kirchenbauer and for Russell Worth has had an incident. Russell had to back out as Colby Whipple comes around. Just gets loose out of that second to last turn right in front of McDaniel. Oh, Bernheimer gets caught. Bernheimer ends up upside down and gets towed to pit road. And what a heartbreaking end of the night for Bernheimer after having an awesome race all night and coming back from all sorts of adversity here. Gardner gets a little loose. Peeper in second, Swafford in third. Clay Kirchenbauer, over three and a half seconds back, will not play a factor in the top three. Getter is already marching his way back up into sixth. Oh, Getter's a little wide there. White flag is in the air, but it's a big question who it's going to be here. Peeper locks him up into one. Manages to stay off Gardner's bumper, but now Swafford's on his. Gardner has just a little bit of breathing room, but as they come to the... Oh, Gardner's loose. He's in the wall. Peeper's in the wall. Swafford gets by. Swafford to the lead. What a turn of events on the final lap. Oh, Peeper. Has a problem, he'll have to slow down as he comes out of the bus stop. Gardner now back in the second, but Peeper right there. And Swafford is going to drive away with it. Justin Swafford, two more turns to go. One more, oh, a bobble out of Gardner, but he holds it. Gardner bobbles out of the final turn. Swafford wins it. Who's it going to be for second? Patrick Peeper comes home second. Gardner in third. Holy crap, that last race was in That last lap was insane. Gardner doing donuts in the infield. Swafford had an amazing run here tonight. Let's talk to our top three, starting with Jeremy Gardner. Hey, Gardner, it's Doug. You got me? What's up, buddy? <laughs> that last lap, uh, that was a doozy. Yeah, it was. I was just trying to trying to gas it too hard, really, and just so I can keep a gap between us so he couldn't get to me in one of the corners. Oh, man, it got a little bit insane there. Obviously, you dropped back a little bit, but, man, you fought back into second place after I thought you were pretty well done at that point. I think I got third. Yeah, I mean, it's a good points night. It is what it is, though. But, I mean, it was fun. 
It definitely was a great, you're right, you did get third. <laughs> Uh, it was a, a great night, a points night for sure, and man, you led a lot of laps and really uh, was a big surprise to see you be that fast on a road course. Yeah, no kidding. I'm normally terrible, especially in these cars at a road course. <laughs> well, you got it done tonight, buddy. Congratulations. That was a great run. Well, appreciate it. Gardner comes home in third. Patrick Peeper comes home in second. Hey, Patrick, it's Doug. You got me? I got you, Doug. How's it going? Uh, pretty good, man. That was a wild final lap. Oh, my gosh, dude. I had, I had to pick between gassing it and maybe losing the back end when Jeremy got on the wall and holding my line or having him hit me or checking up and possibly understeering, and I chose that, and I got the wall, and Justin just slid right past me. And then I was going to try and get him back going into, the, uh, going into the bus stop, but unfortunately I – got a little bit too greedy and I hit the wall. <laughs> so. Man, you managed to pull off a second place uh, run with a stage win. Obviously going to stay <clears throat> in the playoffs, but that yeah. got a little close there at the end. It did. I mean, I really wanted to win, but I'm glad Justin got it because we were battling there on that weird caution with like five laps to go. Um, you know, I had a run on him coming into the final turn and I was had my nose in there and I was going to try and not hit him. But because I didn't have the ideal line, I pushed up into him, and I know it dropped him back. So, like I said, I don't like making mistakes like that. So I'm glad Justin was able to get it instead of me. But I really would have liked to win this one. But, oh, well, hopefully there will be more in the future. I'm sure there will be, man. Congratulations. Great run tonight, buddy. All right. Thanks a lot, Doug. Thanks for broadcasting. My pleasure. All right. Patrick Peeper comes home seven. Good evening, Zach. How's it going, buddy? And Justin Swafford comes home with the win. Wow. Hey, Swafford, it's Doug. You got me? Staying full. Uh, you ain't going to have many tires left when you're done with this one, buddy. Ah, we don't need them no more. <laughs> Man, you dang sure needed them on that last lap, and they came in handy coming up through the S's. Yeah, on a, honestly, I still don't think I was fast as those guys. I mean, I give it to them. They were fast. Uh, if they wouldn't have gotten to the wall, uh, I probably would have been a different outcome. I have to ask, were your eyes closed coming through that mess? Well, let's just say certain areas were puckered. <laughs> I'm quite sure. Man, you've uh, you sat in first in points for most of the season. You come home uh, with the win tonight. You're going to close that gap back up. That's uh, uh, definitely an awesome way to go into the next part of the playoffs. Yeah, we'll definitely take it. I mean, I came out here tonight trying to have some fun as a road course, you know, another wild card thing in the playoffs. So, yeah, here we are in the uh, victory lane. So, that's awesome. Well, man, congratulations. That was an awesome run and an awesome, awesome final lap. Thank you, Doug. Justin Swafford gets the win in what was a crazy, crazy final lap. Uh I, I, I don't know what else to say about that last lap. That was insane. Uh, don't forget to come back Sunday morning for some more road racing. Uh, GT3 NSS, and I do know some of the Nowski boys do show up for that. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I need a break. Y'all have a great night.